Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hiya Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and very tricky question from entrance examination and if you have your solution and your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. We need to simplify this expression. We have cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2. So right now let's let's start. First of all, let's write our, our solution right here and let's let's start. First of all, I want to mention one really important moment because when we rewrite our expression, so cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2. We are talking about a positive value because square root of 5 minus 2 is, is a positive value and when we take the cube's root of this positive value this expression is also a positive. So we are interested only in a positive expression which is really important because we are going to reject negative values. So we are talking about only positive solutions. So right now let's start. First of all I'm going to start with this really interesting substitution. So this substitution looks like that. The first one x equal to this expression that we need to find. Okay, so x equal to cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2. This is our x and we need to also our y. So let's write that our y equal to absolutely the same thing. So cubes root of square root of 5 but with the positive. So this is our substitution. So y equal to cubes root square root of 5 plus 2. Okay, so let's do this right now. These are our two substitutions. And from here, we can also find our x cube. We're going to raise both sides to the third power. So we have x cube, x cube equal to square root of 5 minus 2. So this is for further calculation. So square root of 5 minus 2. And we can also find our y cube. y cube equal to square root of 5 square root of 5 plus 2. This is our first step. We are talking about these two substitutions. Right now, let's see what will happen when we are talking about subtraction. So the first step, the first step is subtraction. Subtraction. This is our first first step. Let's see what will happen when we subtract x cube minus minus y cube. This is our first step. We are talking about x cube minus y cube. So square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5 minus 2. This is our x cube. We're talking about minus y cube. y cube equal to square root of 5 plus 2. So square root of 5 plus 2. And let's simplify this. We have square root of 5 minus 2 minus square root of 5 minus 2. Let's cancel this square root of 5 and as a result we have minus 2 minus 2 which is equal to minus 4. So the first really important expression for us x cube minus y cube equal to minus minus 4. And let's underline this expression which is really important for us. So x cube minus y cube equal to minus 4. Right now let's see what will happen when we're talking about about uh, about a product, so about multiplication. So let's see what will happen when we multiply both expressions. So first of all we are talking about x times y. Okay, so we are talking about x, x, times y. Our x and y right here, so we have x, our y right here, so let's let's multiply it. As a result, we have cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2. We're going to multiply it by cubes root of 2, cubes root of 2, square root of 5, plus, plus 2. And right now we need to know a really important property. I write it, this property in terms of square root. I hope you will understand it. So when we have square root of some expression times square root of some expression, we can write it in one square root sign, in one common square root sign. And right here we can write the common cubes root cubes root sign. So we have x times y equal to, and we have a long, a long cubes root sign right here. Uh, and in, the, in the, this uh, sign we have square root of 5 minus 2. So we have square root of 5 minus 2. And we multiply it by square root of 5, square root of 5 plus 2. And right now let's look closely what do we have in our parentheses. In our parentheses we have really important expression. So we have a minus b, a plus b. And from school we need to know when we have a minus b times a plus b, a plus b, this is equal to equal to a square minus b square. This are all known school formula. We are talking about difference of two of two squares. And if you're talking about this uh, this uh, case, when we have the nth root of a times the nth root of b, we can write it as nth root of a times b. Maybe someone don't understand why I write it in one common cubes root cubes root sign. So let's, right now let's write our our formula. So right here x equal to, we have right here a cube's root, cube's root, and right here we have difference of two squares. So a square, we have square root of 5 to the second power, so square root of 5, we have square, and minus b square, b square equal to, equal to 4, equal to, so let's write as 2 square, and as a result right here we have cube's root of 5 minus 5 minus 4, 5 minus 4, which is equal to 
we have cube's root of, of 1, which is equal to 1. So the second extremely important expression for us after this difference of two cubes, we have that our x and y, x times y, equal to equal to 1. So right here we have we have 1. This is the second extremely important expression for us. And right now let's write our system, equa system of equation that we created, okay? So we know the difference of two cubes equal to minus 4 and a product equal to equal to 1. So right now let's write this system of equation. This is our third step. We're going to write our system of equations. So first of all, x cube minus y cube is equal to minus 4 and a product x times y equal to equal to 1. This is our system of equation that right now we are going to solve this system of equation. First of all, we're going to remember about uh, this formula. We have difference of two cubes. So as a result, we have a cube minus b cube. Okay, this is equal to we have a minus b and times a square, a square plus a b and plus b square. So right now, let's write instead of this difference of cube, let's write this full formula. Let's see what will happen right here. So let's let's write this full formula. As a result, we have x minus y, x minus y, and in parentheses we have x square plus xy and plus y square. Plus y square, this expression is equal to is equal to minus 4. And right now, let's simplify a little bit our expression in the second parenthesis. Let's create right here a square. So let's do a tricky move. So we have x minus y. And in our parentheses, let's create a square. So x minus y square. But we can also, we need to add 2xy, okay? Because right here we write minus 2xy. Right here we need to add 2xy because we used it to create a formula. And we need to add this xy that we had in the beginning. So plus xy and of course equal to equal to minus 4. Right now we can easily add 2xy and plus xy. Let's do this. So we have x minus y and in the parentheses we have x minus y square plus 3xy. 3xy is equal to minus minus 4. What are we going to do next? We need to know that xy equal to xy equal to, or we need to multiply this x minus y by this parenthesis. There are two cases. We can also write it xy equal to 1. We can easily write right here 1. But first of all, let's multiply x minus y by this parenthesis. So there are two ways. I'm going to show you this one. So as a result, when we multiply this parenthesis by this one, we will have not second power, but the third power. We have x minus y to the third power, to the third power. Next, we have plus 3xy times this parenthesis x minus y and of course equal to equal to minus 4 but with one really interesting moment as i told before xy equal to 1 so but xy xy equal to 1 so right here we have we have 1 as a result we have x minus y to the third power plus 3 x minus y and equal to minus 4. And right now let's look closely what do we have right here. We have looks like a cubic equation but we need to write a substitution. Our substitution looks like that. So let x minus y is equal to, for example, let's go with t. As a result we have t cube, t cube plus 3t and right here we have equal to minus 4 or, or we can write it as plus 4 and equal to zero. Okay, this is our cubic equation, and right now let's let's solve this cubic equation. Okay, so let's continue. Right here we have a cubic equation. We know that x minus y equal to t, and we have a cubic equation in terms of t. So how can we solve it? First of all, instead of this four, let's write uh, so four equal to one one plus three. Okay, this is all known expression. So four equal to one plus plus three, and right now let's change this four as one plus three. As a result, what do we have right here? We have t cube plus 3t plus 1 plus 3. So plus 1 and plus 3 equal to equal to 0. There are a lot of ways how can we solve this cubic equation, but I'm going to group this one with this t cube. <clears throat> As a result, what do we have right here? t cube. And I'm not going to write 1. I'm going to write 1 cube. So 1 t cube plus 1 cube. And right here we have plus 3t and plus 3 plus 3t and plus 3 equal to equal to 0. Right now we have a sum of two cubes. Let's remember a formula. Let's remember this a school formula. We have a cube, a cube plus b cube, which is equal to a plus b. Yeah, from school a plus b. And we have a square minus a b and plus b 
square. These are all non-school formula and right now let's write this formula right here. As a result, what do we have? We have t plus 1, t plus 1, and in another parenthesis we have t square, t square, minus t and plus 1. And plus, right here, let's factor 3. So when we factor 3, we have 3 in parentheses, we have t plus 1. So t plus 1 equal to equal to 0. And right now, really tricky move. t plus 1 and t plus 1, we can easily factor as a common. So as a result, what do we have? We have t plus 1, t plus 1, and in parentheses, we have t square minus t and plus 1 and plus 3. So as a result, we have t square minus t and plus 1 and plus 3. So plus 1 and plus 3 equal to equal to 0. Okay, right now the final move we can we can easily add our 1 plus 3. So as a result we have t plus 1 and in parentheses we have t square minus t and plus 4 equal to 0. Right now a product of two parentheses equal to 0 when the first parenthesis equal to 0. So we have t plus 1 equal to 0 or the second parenthesis equal to 0. So we have t square minus t and plus 4 equal to 0. But I'm going to start with this quadratic equation because I feel right here we don't have real solutions. So we are talking about a discriminant. Let's find our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. So we have minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 and times 4. So right here we are talking about a negative discriminant. Right here we have minus 15, which is less than 0. So we are not interested in this expression in this quadratic root. So we are talking about only about this expression. From here, our t equal to minus 1, which is extremely important answer for us, because as I told in the beginning, we had a substitution. We had that our x minus y equal to t, and t equal to minus 1. So we are talking about x minus y equal to minus minus 1. And this is extremely important expression for us. So right now let's let's continue our, our solution. x minus y equal to minus 1. And right now the final four step right here, the final four step, x minus y equal to minus 1, okay, x minus y equal to minus 1. And right here we need our product. In the beginning we wrote that our product xy equal to equal to 1. And this is our final system of equations, so right now let's let's solve it. From here our y equal to x plus 1, okay, y equal to x plus 1, okay, y equal to x plus 1. And right now let's plug in this y right here in this, in this part. So as a result what do we have? Right here we have x times x plus 1, x plus 1, equal to equal to 1 yeah and right now let's simplify this a little bit as a result what do we have we have x square x square plus x and minus 1 is equal to is equal to 0 right now let's find our discriminant let's see what will happen first of all a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to minus 1 so right now let's find our our discriminant uh, or let's plug in uh, our expression uh, in our final formula let's do this for example in uh, as a second case so we have x first and second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a so which is equal to we have minus b we have minus 1 minus 1 plus minus square root of discriminant so b square minus 4ac 1 square minus 4 times 1 and times minus 1 and all over 2 times 1 let's simplify this so we have x first and second equal to we have minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 4 equal to 5 so square root of 5 this our discriminant and all over all over 2 so as you can see we find our x first and x second but if you look closely our x this is our expression that we need to find our x this is the expression that we need to find in the beginning we need to see we have to simplify this expression and this is our x so we are talking in the beginning we talked about a positive value so right here we need to reject our negative value we have x first equal to we have a uh, square root of 5 or let's write it as minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we also have x second which is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 as i told before expression so let's rewrite it we have cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2 as i told before this expression is positive so we're talking about only positive value so we need to reject so reject it this 
value this rejected. Right here we have a positive value, so if this is error answer. As I told before, right here we have x equal to cubes root of square root of 5 minus 2. This is exactly expression that we need to find. This is a substitution from the beginning. So right here we have our answer. But we can easily change positions right here, so we can write it as square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Okay, let's do this and let's write our final answer to this question. So our answer, our answer, so our cube's root of square root of 5 minus 2 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Complicated question, I agree, a lot of really interesting tricky moves right here, a lot of really tricky uh, tricky moments right here, but I hope you understand it, I hope you enjoy it, you can also write your solution, it will be really interesting when you write your, your approach, your answer down into the comment section, let's exchange information, maybe you have your answer, your approach, it will be also really interesting to exchange information, and thank you everyone for watching, thank you everyone for your support, thank you everyone for everything, when you write your kind comments, your bad comments, it's really interesting to see your response down into the comment section, and also thank you everyone, wish you all the best in your life, love math, and have a great day.